Okay, so when you reach chapter three, um, just as a quick little heads up, you wanna make sure you have a paper and pen or pencil next to you because you're gonna be taking a few notes for this chapter and then a lot of notes for chapters four and five. So if you don't have a pen or pencil handy, I recommend going and get one now so that you can do this next part. So once you are ready, go ahead and interact with the briefcase on the pedestal just in front of you and interact with it again. And you're going to see a little button that's behind the handle. Press that button. And you're going to get a little shape puzzle here. And basically what you want to do is get the circle into the circle, the triangle into the triangle, and the square into the square. So to do that, go ahead and move the triangle all the way left and all the way down. And then move the diamonds just to the left so we can get the circle out. And then once you can, get the circle up and one to the right, then move the diamonds down to where the circle was down below. And as you can see now, you have a clear path to move the circle. So go ahead and do so and place it in the circle hole. And now you have a clear path for your triangle. So do the same, move it all the way to the right and into the hole and do the same with the square all the way right and into the hole. Okay, and interact with both locks on the briefcase to open it up. And basically the gist of this chapter is we want to be able to hit that red a, button that is inside the this briefcase. This is just the beginning. Let's play a little game to show the world just how brilliant you truly are. I've attached a bomb to the world's most famous bridge. This kill switch is the only way to disarm the bomb. It's all up to you now, Agent A. If you really are the best, it should be a- All right, to start, go ahead and interact with the center and pick up the pencil that's next to the note from Ruby. And if you flip up this little corner, you're gonna see a seven that is in some dots. You wanna remember this seven. Um, don't worry about the red parts right now, that doesn't really matter too much. So once you have that, exit out, interact with the bottom of right panel, and this will open up the little door, and hit the button that's on the left hand side. And as you can see, the panel on the left has opened, so go ahead and interact with that to zoom in, pick up the blue piece, and then pick up the fuse. All right, then head back over to the right panel, and put the fuse in the slot. And this will open up the container on top where you can actually get the power cell. So exit out of that little area, take the power cell and put it in any of the slots here. It doesn't matter which one, you're still gonna unlock the same lock, so. All right, and once you've done that, before we go down to that puzzle, go ahead and interact with the briefcase again. And you just wanna click on the monitor until it goes static and memorize the colors that are shown here. So we have red, light blue, green, dark blue. Just again, red, light blue, green, dark blue. You are gonna need that for a puzzle coming up a little later. So until then, exit out of here and interact with the puzzle that showed just in front of the panel here. And basically what you wanna do for this one is when you hit the button, it extends and lowers these little pegs here and you want them to match the pattern of the gear behind it. So starting with this one right here, we have a tall one followed by a short one, followed by a tall one, another tall one, a short one, a tall one, and a short one. And once you have that, it'll place itself inside and we'll open up the next part to this. All right, and interact with the panel. And as you can see, there are six locks on this one and you need to hit them in the correct order to actually unlock this. So it's gonna be the top left, the bottom right, the middle left, the middle right, the top right, and the bottom left. All right, so now that this panel is open, we can't do anything quite yet, so exit out of this area and click on the left open door of this little box here. 
And in the fan, you can see there's a crank handle that is blocking it. So pick up the crank handle and that will start up the fan and open up the little container on the right. Zoom in onto that and pick up the blue piece as well as the two pegs inside. And while you're here, just go ahead and make a note on this little pattern on the door right here as we are gonna need that here in a second. So once you have that noted, exit out of being zoomed in, interact with the bottom right, and then pick up the rest of the pegs down here. You can't do anything with this door yet, so just kind of ignore it for now. So go ahead and exit out. And if you interact with the briefcase again, interact with the bottom right little area where we place that fuse. And on the far right wall of it, you can see that there is another light pattern that you will need to memorize for this next part. So once you have that noted, exit out of the briefcase. All right, and then interact with the security camera in the top left corner. And you're gonna to wanna to make a note um, of this little letter pattern right here. This is gonna be different for everybody. So yours might not match mine. It might, if you're lucky it will, but otherwise go ahead and note down what letters and symbols that you have. And also make a note of the light puzzle just to the right of it. So once you have those both noted, exit out of the camera. All right, and then go ahead and interact with the right wall. And we're just really quick going to do the first part that is required for the uh, talking or talk time with Trevor trophy. So as you can see, there are two mouse holes down at the bottom here. Interact with the rightmost one and Trevor will pop out. Click on him and he'll scurry away. Click on the left hole and he reappears and he scurries away again. Exit out of the left hole. Interact with the right hole. Click on him again. And then once he appears out of the left, zoom in on the left. And when he runs away, go back to the right side. And you wanna do this until the dialogue starts to repeat. So we haven't quite gotten there yet. Interact with the left. And interact with the right. Interact with the left. and interact with the right. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Interact with the left. As you can see, he does not appear, so this is a pretty good indication that it's gonna start repeating. So interact with the right, and interact with the left. Okay, and if you do the right one more time, He'll pop out, but as you can see, he doesn't say anything, so that just means that we're done here. And go ahead and click on the grid that is just above the left mouse hole. And as you can see, there are a bunch of dots on here, and this is where you're going to need to put in that seven that we saw on that piece of paper. But before you do, you need to make note that you flipped that piece of paper. So the seven is actually going to be backwards. It's not going to be forwards on here. So using the little plugs that you picked up out of the center console, you want to recreate that seven. And this is just a little bit of a prep work for a puzzle that is also in this room. This will just make it quicker to complete once you get there. So place them all down. All right, so now you have your backward seven, so we can just move forward, exit out of there and interact with the center panel, interact with it again to zoom in, and then click on the green boxes that are on the left-hand side. And this is where you are gonna place in those light puzzles that we saw scattered across the room. So you wanna match the outline pattern with each one. So for instance, the one on the right, you're gonna put in the lights. There we go. Like that. The center one, and we got the big puzzle. So we're going to do three lights here and then two lights on the bottom. And then for the final puzzle, you can see it's just a, a long one. <laughs> so for this one, you want to do the two lit ones and the 
to the bottom. And that will complete that. And there's going to be a lever that you need to pull. Go ahead and do so. And the room's going to change a little bit, but we're going to go back to that center panel before we do anything else. So once you can, click on the center panel, click on it again, and then pick up the red key that is in the top right corner. And then flip the switch again. And then zoom in on it again and go ahead and use the red key on the keyhole to the right and then pick up the blue piece that's inside all right and flip the switch one more time all right so first thing we're going to do is go over to the right hand side and I just want you to make a note of these shapes that are on uh, these circle locks here. And as you can see, they have a circle and a line each attached to them. You want to remember the placing of these lines and dots as you're going to need them for the laser puzzle. So the, uh, <laughs> it's almost like the Star Trek symbol. Um, the circle is a quarter to the left of the line, the diamond. The circle is also a quarter to the left of the line, and the triangle is directly across. So you have a quarter, a quarter, and just across. So exit out of there, and then interact with the left side of this panel. And as you can see, there's a little picture with some symbols on it. You might notice that these sort of match the symbols that you saw on the security camera. So these will give you the number codes that we need to unlock those circular locks that we just saw. And as you can see, there are two numbers missing down at the bottom. This just follows a pattern. So the first column, two plus one plus one, so two, three, four, and then the second column is gonna be two. So five plus two is seven plus two, and this is gonna be nine. And then the third column is three, so eight plus three is 11, plus three is gonna be 14. So just remember that you can reference this as much as you need to, but for now, go ahead and hit that button. And a little panel will open up on the, uh, or just to the right of it. So pick up the blue piece that's inside. Go ahead and exit out of that area. And interact with the left side of the room where this little gate is. And it's gonna be locked. And what you need is the pencil and stick it in the slot on the right hand side and then click on the pencil to unlock the door, open it up, and then pick up the chisel. And as you can see, we have four pistons with four different colors on it. This is where you need the colors you saw on the static screen on the monitor. So those colors again were red. Oops, just passed it. Light blue, green, and then dark blue. All right, and that'll start the pistons. And then as we move up, we have this little puzzle with a bunch of arrows and circles spinning them. And basically what you wanna do is get all of the arrows pointing to the right um, on each level in each column. So to start, we're just gonna line up one of the circles. So going with the left, hit the top button to pause it and then wait for the middle row to get even with it and then pause the bottom row. And now as you can see, all of the uh, columns are now aligned. So now we need to do it horizontally. So starting with the far left bottom button, go ahead and give it a pause. And then once those are lined up, go to the third one, give it a pause. And then the far right one, all right, and now they are all aligned. So once they hit the right side, a little paper will print out over here, and this will give you another symbol code. And yours, again, is gonna be different than mine. So just make sure you note it accordingly so that you can get your correct codes for this puzzle. So once you have that, exit on out. And as you can see, there's a little mouse hole down on the floor to the right. Go ahead and interact with that. And as you can see, you cannot reach that just yet. So just letting you know that that is there. So exit out, interact with the center panel, 
interact with the right door this time. And just to show you that there is a puzzle on this door, which has these six little blue pieces and then this button down here. And when you hit the button, the door on the opposite side will open up, but it won't stay open long enough for you to actually click anything. So now we're gonna get something to hold that down. So go ahead and flip the switch on the center console. And interact with the left wall. And as you can see, there's a brick over here that kind of stands out from everything else. So use the chisel to remove that brick. Pick up the blue piece. And then pick up the brick that landed on the ground. And then interact with the center console. Go ahead and pull that lever down. interact with the center console again go to the right side and now you want to place the brick you just picked up on that button to hold it down and then move over to the left side and pick up the blue piece that is now showing okay so now you have all the blue pieces that you need so go back to the right side interact with that puzzle and then just start placing all the blue pieces inside the holes and they'll land automatically. You don't actually have to line them up or anything. Okay, so once again, you do have another little code over here on the right wall. Yours is gonna be different than mine, so just make sure you note it down so that we can get you the correct one that you need. Outside of that, go ahead and hit this little white button in the center and the little laser is gonna appear. And we can't do anything just yet with this. So exit on out of here. And then interact with the uh, console on the right hand side and down on the bottom, the little key code that we have on the wall here. Now you have all three of your codes, so you wanna get all three of your numbers. So again, yours are gonna be different. Just match up the symbols that you have showing on your notes, and then you will be able to get your codes. Okay, so once you have your codes, exit out of there and interact with the key panel up on the top right. And you're just gonna place in all three codes that you have. Again, yours are gonna be different than mine depending on what symbols you had. And that will unlock the first lock. Interact with the keypad again and put in your second code. And that will unlock the second lock and then interact with the panel one more time and put in your third and final code. And that will unlock the bottom lock and then you'll be able to get another power cell in here. So as soon as you can, zoom in on it and pick it up and then head back to the briefcase. and place the power cell inside. Okay, so now we have another lock down. I just need these two, so exit out of here.
Okay, so we're gonna start getting to work on the laser puzzles that we have here. Um, we are gonna be able to do all of them now that we have the symbols. We just need to get to the buttons for them. So the first one is gonna be on the left side of the console here. Go ahead and click on that black and white striped little area. Click on it again to reveal the button. And here we have a little pointy triangle. So this one was a quarter away from the line. So go ahead and drag the circle so that it is a quarter away. Exit on out. All right, and interact with the right side and interact with the same yellow and black little panel here and it's gonna be the diamond. So click on that to reveal the laser. And you want it to be a quarter away again. And then your third one is down just to the bottom left of the panel on the right hand side. So interact with that little hole, click on the panel, and then click on the triangle. And this one is going to be directly across. So go ahead and move it directly across. And as you can see, a big giant laser appears. And this is hitting the red laser that is inside the console, which unlocks the power cell just above it. So go ahead and pick up the power cell. Interact with the briefcase and put the power cell in the slot. All right, so now we just have one more. Okay, so to get the last one, we do need the key that is in the mouse hole on the bottom left hand side. So where you placed in that seven, Go ahead and go over to that side. And as you can see, there's a mouse hole just below that panel. Interact with the mouse hole and Trevor will appear. Give him a good click. And then head over to the left side of the room. Interact with the mouse hole and he will toss you out the key. So just be sure to click on him a few times to get the dialogue here and then exit out. And then go back to the back right corner of the room and there's gonna be a panel down here with a keyhole on it. Use the keyhole on the panel, interact with it to turn it. And you have another little gear puzzle here where we need to extend and shorten the little pegs on this part. So starting on this area here, we have a tall, tall, short, tall, tall, short, and then we skip this piece, and then it goes tall, short, tall, so tall, short, tall, and then once you have that, it'll place itself inside, and you have a little hole in the center of this, which is where your crank handle is going to go, so place that in, and then just hold X on the handle, you don't actually have to move it, just make sure you're holding down X. And this will light up the puzzle that we put the seven pegs in. And because it's already correct, it'll automatically finish. And down at the bottom, you'll get your power cell. And this is the last one you need. So head back to the briefcase. And place the power cell in the last slot. Okay, and go ahead and hit that red button. <laughs> now that's the real definition of a kill switch. You didn't think I would actually let you save them, did you? Now, the world will see just how incompetent you and MIA really are. Au revoir, Agent A.
Okay, so here you just want to click on everything until it breaks and is smoking. Just make sure you shatter it as much as possible. Turn out the neon lights. Make sure they're shattered completely. And then the left side, you want to break this glass so that it's shattered as well. And this will finish off chapter. What? <laughs> you were disappointing in the end, Agent A. 